What's up, guys? I'm Chris Spaggs here, back with another Four Corners for today's 11-game NBA main slate, courtesy of Osmo.com and presented by Superdraft. After a small slate yesterday in which hopefully you didn't play too much Trey Young as I didn't, so dodge that bullet, we're going to get back on track today with this gigantic slate in front of us, but I need the power of positivity in the air from all of you guys. So right now, please hit that like button. And if you want to win a free month of Osmo Plus, like this video and comment the top value play on today's slate according to DraftKings salaries down below. Superdraft.com once again giving you a chance at that free month of Osmo Plus. So like the video and comment your top value play down below and I'll announce the winner of yesterday's video a little bit later on. But as always, we've got no time to waste here in the four corners, so let's get to it with the top owned plays on today's slate starting with James Harden in a matchup at Washington in which there are 119.5 implied points for Houston. Harden projects for 23% ownership on DraftKings and 22% on FanDuel. Harden has shot 3 for 14 and 2 for 18 from deep in his last two games and despite Russell Westbrook's high usage and assist rates, Harden seems due for one of his monster ceiling days with just 29% shooting from the floor to start the year. Buddy Heald in a matchup versus Charlotte also looks popular today with 115 implied points for Sacramento. Heald has 18% expected ownership on DraftKings while he'll have 25% on FanDuel. Sacramento has started the year ice cold with 40% shooting, but Vegas projects them for a 19.5 point boost on their season average, with Heald due for positive regression on his 35% shooting from the floor with his 26% usage rate. In another guy due for positive regression is Mike Conley in this matchup versus the Clippers in which there are 109.3 implied points for Utah. Conley will have 17% expected ownership on DraftKings while have 28% on FanDuel. Conley is stumped to start the year with 20% shooting from the floor, but he has a 26% assist rate with 27% usage, while the Clippers defense takes a major hit thanks to Kawhi Leonard sitting today's game out. And now onto our next corner of the top value players on the slate, and let's talk about Bogdan Bogdanovich in that matchup versus Charlotte in which there are 115 implied points for Sacramento. Bogdan projects to be popular on DraftKings Kings due to his price point, and he too seems to be up for positive regression on his 28% shooting, but his minutes are something of a risk given how Nemanja Bielitsa usually needs to underperform in order to open up more minutes for Bogdan. And Rashawn Holmes versus Charlotte also looks like a good play with once again 115 implied points for Sacramento. Holmes went nuts with 24 points and 13 rebounds versus Denver, and while Dwayne Dedman should continue to start and get the first crack, Holmes showed his upside and ability to earn up to 30 minutes if he thrives against Charlotte's high 46% rebound rate allowed. And let's see what your appetite for risk is with Mark Markel Fultz in a matchup versus the Knicks in which there are 109.3 implied points for Orlando. Fultz closed last game for Orlando as he played 27 minutes and he shot at least 11 times per game in a pace-up spot against the Knicks team who really doesn't defend well. And now onto some of the game stacks that look appealing on this big slate and let's start with Phoenix at Golden State in a game in which there are 229 combined points. Phoenix's defense is likely not as good as it seems with a lucky 41% shooting percentage against them while Golden State has played at a fast 110.5 pace and they seem to find their form last game while they're also getting healthier with Wooly Cauley Stein expected to play today. And Charlotte at Sacramento looks interesting because that game has a 223 point combined total projected by Vegas. Both teams have been bad defensively with a 109.8 defensive rating for Sacramento and a 112.5 defensive rating for Charlotte with players reasonably priced on both sides if the game stays competitive. And a fairly obvious game stack is going to be Houston at Washington in a game in which there's a slate high 231 combined points expected. Houston plays at the top piece in the league currently and their stars should be in a decent spot with an iffy Washington defense who's also weak inside as they allow a 47% rebound rate. And our last corner, some of the lower owned dart throws on today's slate. And let's kick it off with De'Aaron Fox in that matchup versus Charlotte in which there are once again 115 implied points for Sacramento. Fox has had upwards of 17 and 18 shots so far this year and he projects for far less ownership than Buddy Heald due to his high price. But he should rise with Sacramento's tide thanks to his 38% assist rate going against the bad Charlotte defense. And a value dart throw is Davis Bertans in that match versus Houston in which there are 111.5 implied points for Washington. Bertans can lose some minutes to the returning Troy Brown but he's played 32 and 27 minutes in his last two games at an extremely cheap price that could offer upside if the game is as high scoring as it can be. And I'm interested in Lou Williams at a match about Utah in which there are 107.3 implied points for the Clippers. No Kawhi Leonard opens up his 37.1% usage rate on a much less deep Clippers squad than we saw last year. Lou Williams and Montrez Harrell are likely the only guys who can keep the Clippers in this game going against Utah's stout defense. So there you have it. That's what I'm seeing so far for today's 11 game NBA slate. So right now, please hit that like button. And if you want to win a free month of Osmo Plus courtesy of Superdraft, like this video and comment your top value play on tonight's slate down below. In yesterday's video, Maxi 
Maxi Kleber ended up being the top value play on the slate according to DraftKings salaries, and the winner is this guy right here, Andy S. So Andy, email me at chris at osmo.com to collect your prize of that free month of Osmo Plus. For everybody else out there, if you want your free month courtesy of Superdraft, like this video and comment your top value play down below. And of course, you should be heading over right now to superdraft.com to take advantage of their deposit bonus, $20 on a $100 deposit or more. And also a lot of tournaments with overlay, including their multiplier games that'll give you a chance to build lineups without even thinking about salaries. A lot of great things over there. So go check them out. They are the presenting sponsor of the Four Corners to help support them for helping us keep the lights on here every single day. And if you'd like some more data at your fingertips, use this promo code switch and hedge at osmo.com slash join to get half off your first month of Osmo Plus. We have all the ownership projections and player projections that come from Osmo himself, the top DFS player in the world. So go right now to osmo.com slash join and find a package that works for you. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Spags. I've got seven days a week of DFS content for the NFL and the NBA. And frankly, I'm just a real chill dude. So go check out what I'm doing on all the social media things at Chris Spags. I'll be back with you guys tomorrow for another Four Corners. I also have my column, The Switch and Hedge, now running before the Four Corners. So that's down in the description if you want to check that link out as well. But I'll be back with you guys again soon. So thank you for watching and good luck.